guys, it's Heather, and today I'm going to talk about washing machines and pockets. Now, before I start talking about this subject, I wanted to apologize. Um, first of all, I wanted to apologize because this video is probably coming up late because my little sister has been here this weekend and it's been a mess. I'm really sorry about that and um, I will try, try not to do it again. I know, I've been really bad about posting videos on time lately and I'm trying to get better. Just hang in there, stay with me. I promise it's gonna be okay. There may be some extra background noise in this video. Um, my whole family is home while I'm filming this, which is not normal, and we'll see how that goes. So, you know, fingers crossed that everything will go correctly and no one will walk in. Okay. Now, on to this week's topic. Uh, kind of odd, I know, a weird topic to talk about, but it's short and sweet and simple, so here we go, without further ado. First, I want to talk about washing machines. Now, washing machines are great for keeping your clothes clean, but besides that, they're terrible and washing machine companies have a lot to work on. Because every single time, without fail, if I put, let's say, six pairs of socks in the wash machine, I will get two back and three mismatches and one that's just off the map completely. I hope that my washing machine isn't the only one that does this, but it happens to eat socks. Just, just gone and you have no clue where they went. And they're just missing. I don't know. It's like the Twilight Zone or the Bermuda Triangle of wash machines. They just disappear without a trace. And you wouldn't think there's any place for them to go. It's just a circular drum. You know? And they're, they're just gone. Just completely gone. And don't try to tell me it's because they're behind the washing machine or under the washing machine or still in the clothes basket because no. No. <laughs> it's no. <laughs> I'll be. I'll just, I have kept. I have held on to all of my mismatched socks in the hopes that someday the, their lost brothers may return to us, which is absolutely ridiculous considering we've moved like about three times and I've still kept every single sock I've owned since I was like two. I don't know when. Just. just I'm just a hopeful person, I guess. So I'm gonna show you. Holy crap, that was scary. Um, these are all of my socks, my mismatched socks. Oops. So these are all of my mismatched socks. Completely without any pairs or couples or loved ones. They're just all alone in the big bad world. Um, some of these are pretty old, actually. I think I should just get rid of them, but I just can't bring myself to do it because I'm a hopeless romantic who w one day hopes that their lost, fallen comrades might come back to us, if that makes any sense. So am I the only one who has this problem? That their washing machine just eats socks and just sends them to the island of misfit socks where they go around dancing and singing and I don't know. This is like Twilight Zone level stuff here. I don't know what's going on. The next thing I wanted to talk about this week is pockets. Okay? Now this is more for girls than it is for guys because guys have like humongous pockets and girls have like teeny tiny little baby pockets and sometimes Girls don't even get pockets on their jeans. I'm talking about jean pockets, by the way. Sometimes girls don't even get pockets on their jeans. They just get like a little patch where the jean manufacturers have just stitched in a fake pocket. It's like, thanks for nothing. I mean, how much extra fabric would it have taken to just make a pocket for us? I mean, yes, many girls like to carry around their stuff in purses, but I am not one of those girls. I hate purses. I just, I just, I leave them everywhere. I cannot keep track of a purse. I just lose it. So I need pockets in my jeans to store my phone in my wallet. Now, you know, and how am I supposed to fit my phone and my big bulky wallet in there? Seriously. <laughs> I just, is this 
just my problem? Do other girls suffer from this? Because I have this big bulky phone case, which is brand new and I love it so much. And I love this phone case and I don't want to get rid of it. You guys can say, oh well why don't you just get another phone case, a smaller phone case, where your phone might fit in your pocket. But you know what? This is like the coolest phone case I've ever owned. So random person, no, I will not get rid of this. It is, it is my case. It's just mine. Don't ever say that. Okay. Moving on. And my wallet. Usually, you know, it wouldn't be normally this big if I didn't have all these like random useless gift cards in it. But um, it is. And you tell me what pocket is gonna fit a wallet this big. Not a girl's pocket, a boy's pocket would fit this stuff no problem. Seriously, like, a guy, most of their pockets, like, you could fit a DVD in their, in their pocket. I mean, gosh, just, what is the thinking behind this? I would like big pockets in my jeans that are just still ugh, women's jeans. These pa pants manufacturers need to get on this. Stupid angel jeans, I'm talking about you. And you can put stuff in your back pocket, and sometimes it'll fit. But then whenever you want to sit down, it's really uncomfortable, because you're sitting on all of your just random useless stuff in your back pocket, and it's not okay. Not okay. And so, yeah. Ugh. Leave in the comments below what you like to keep in your pockets and if your pockets are big enough to hold said things. So just let me know I'm not alone in this, that other people have pocket troubles as well. That's all I have for this week's video. Um, again, I'm really sorry it was late and I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to really try to get on back on a regular schedule. but. Hopefully I will see you next Storytelling Sunday and um, be sure to click the like button and the subscribe button and to comment down below all the things that you like to keep in your pocket and if they fit in your pocket and um, yeah, that's about it. Make sure to subscribe. Have I said that already? I don't know. <laughs> and as always, follow me on all my social media. Links are to everything are in the description below so go check it out. And um, I'll see you next week. Bye! I really think someone's running a blender up there right now. So I'm just gonna wait. Is it done? Nope. How about now? Maybe? Okay.